Breaking news from SpaceX, debris fields and FAA action. The clock struck T plus eight minutes on Starship's Flight 7. Everything seemed perfect. The liftoff, the separation, the initial burn. Then in a matter of seconds, the situation changed dramatically. A flash of light, a trail of fire, and soon fragments of one of humanity's most advanced spacecraft were scattered across the Caribbean. Today, we're bringing you the full story of what really happened during those crucial moments, and more importantly, what it means for SpaceX's future launches. We'll walk you through the official investigation, revealing why multiple Raptor engines failed in rapid succession, and how debris ended up washing ashore on islands hundreds of miles from the launch site. But this isn't just about what went wrong, it's about what happens next. With the FAA stepping in and new regulations on the horizon, the path forward for Starship has taken an unexpected turn. From the engineering challenges to the regulatory hurdles, we're covering every angle of this developing story. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of SpaceX. Let's dive right in. The morning of the launch dawned clear and bright at Starbase, Texas. Engineers and technicians had spent countless hours preparing Booster 14 and its precious cargo, the Starship upper stage, for what they hoped would be a breakthrough moment in spaceflight history. The atmosphere was electric with anticipation. This wasn't just another test flight, but a crucial step toward making humanity a multi-planetary species. As the countdown reached zero, the massive rocket roared to life. The ground trembled as 33 Raptor engines ignited simultaneously, creating a spectacular display of raw power that lit up the Texas sky. For the thousands watching live and millions more streaming online, this was more than just a launch. It was a glimpse into humanity's future among the stars. The initial phase of Flight 7 proceeded flawlessly. The super heavy booster performed exactly as designed, pushing through the dense lower atmosphere with unprecedented precision. When the moment of separation arrived, hearts raced in mission control. The choreography of rocket and spacecraft dancing apart in the thin upper atmosphere went exactly according to plan, a testament to the countless hours of refinement since previous attempts. But space exploration has always been an unforgiving pursuit, where success and failure balance on a knife's edge. At T plus seven minutes and 39 seconds, the first signs of trouble emerged. One of the sea-level Raptor engines began showing anomalous readings. Inside mission control, engineers watched their displays intently, hoping this wouldn't cascade into something more serious. Their hopes were short-lived. At T plus seven minutes and 52 seconds, cameras caught a concerning sight, flames erupting from the starboard aft flap hinge. This wasn't a normal occurrence, and preliminary data suggested what Elon Musk had warned about earlier. An oxygen leak had developed in a critical system. The timing couldn't have been worse, as Starship was entering one of the most demanding phases of its flight profile. What happened next unfolded with devastating speed. Within a span of just 21 seconds, a cascade of engine failures ripped through the spacecraft's propulsion system. First, another sea-level Raptor engine went dark. Then, like dominoes falling, a nearby vacuum-optimized engine shut down, followed by another and another. Each failure shifted more stress onto the remaining engines, creating an impossible situation for the flight control system to manage. By T plus eight minutes and 23 seconds, the unthinkable had happened. Starship had lost all propulsion. The world's most powerful spacecraft, designed to carry humans to Mars, was now at the mercy of physics. As the vehicle began to tumble out of control, SpaceX's flight termination system activated, bringing the mission to an explosive end. But the story was far from over, as debris from the explosion began its long fall back to Earth. No one could have predicted where it would end up. Initial reports started trickling in from unexpected places, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, even the Turks and Caicos Islands. Local residents captured stunning footage of what looked like a meteor shower as glowing fragments of humanity's most advanced spacecraft streaked across the Caribbean sky. The debris field told its own story. On the pristine beaches of Turks and Caicos, locals began finding an unusual array of artifacts heat shield tiles engineered to protect astronauts from the inferno of atmospheric re-entry, now lay scattered in the sand like mysterious black diamonds. 
In one particularly striking discovery, over 100 pieces of various sizes were collected and carefully laid out for documentation, each fragment a piece of the puzzle that investigators would need to solve. This wasn't the first time SpaceX had faced such a challenge. The memories of their first Starship explosion were still fresh, when debris rained down near the launch site itself, causing property damage and raising serious safety concerns. That incident had led to a months-long grounding of the program and mandated 63 specific changes to the vehicle's design and operations. Now history seemed to be rhyming, if not repeating. The Federal Aviation Administration swiftly launched a formal mishap investigation, but this time with an added dimension of complexity. How had debris managed to travel so far from the designated hazard zones? What did this mean for future launches? The questions piled up as quickly as the debris was collected. On January 16th, the FAA laid down the law. SpaceX would need to identify the root cause of the explosion and implement corrective measures before any future Starship flights could proceed. This wasn't just about fixing technical problems. It was about maintaining public safety and trust in the commercial space industry. But SpaceX and its leadership remain undaunted. Even as the investigation continues, plans for Flight 8 are already taking shape. The next mission will utilize Ship 34 in Booster 15, representing the second flight of a Block 2 ship. Engineers are incorporating lessons learned from Flight 7, implementing design changes that they believe will prevent similar failures in the future. The stakes couldn't be higher. SpaceX's vision for 2025 includes a dramatic increase in launch frequency from 5 to 25 annual Starship flights. This ambitious goal reflects not just the company's confidence in their ability to overcome current challenges, but their unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. The Starship program stands at a crucial crossroads. Each setback has provided valuable data, each failure has led to improvements, and each success has brought humanity one step closer to becoming a spacefaring civilization. The debris scattered across the Caribbean serves as a reminder of both the risks and rewards of pushing technological boundaries. As investigators continue their work and engineers refine their designs, one thing remains clear. The journey to make life multi-planetary was never going to be easy. But for SpaceX, their partners, and the countless individuals who dream of a future among the stars, these challenges are not roadblocks. They're stepping stones on the path to something greater than ourselves. The next few weeks will be crucial for SpaceX and the future of Starship. As engineers work tirelessly to implement the FAA's required changes, they're not just fixing technical issues, they're refining the blueprint for humanity's journey to Mars. The upcoming Flight 8, with its enhanced Block 2 design and doubled thrust capacity, promises to be another historic milestone in this journey. But this story isn't just about rockets and regulations, it's about resilience, innovation, and the unwavering pursuit of a dream that once seemed impossible. Each launch, whether successful or not, brings us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. Each lesson learned strengthens the foundation for future missions. We'll be here to bring you every development as this story unfolds. Will the FAA approve the enhanced safety measures? How will SpaceX adapt their launch protocols? And most importantly, what new challenges and triumphs await in the next chapter of Starship's journey? Join our growing community of space enthusiasts at Elon Musk 24 Hours to stay informed about these groundbreaking developments. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss an update. Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who share our passion for humanity's greatest adventure. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the FAA's response? And what changes would you like to see in Flight 8? Thank you for being part of this incredible journey. Together, we're witnessing history in the making, one launch at a time. January 16th, 2025. A day that will be remembered in the annals of space exploration. Within just hours of each other, two titans of American spaceflight made history with launches that captured the world's attention. 
Blue Origin's New Glenn, after a decade of development, finally reached for the stars on its maiden voyage. And SpaceX's Starship, the largest rocket ever built, soared from its Texas launch pad in its latest test flight. As these massive vehicles thundered into the sky, the space community erupted with debate. Some celebrated both launches as victories for human advancement, while others drew stark comparisons between the two missions. On social media, heated discussions broke out about which flight proved more successful, New Glenn's orbital achievement despite losing its first stage, or Starship's successful booster recovery, followed by upper stage loss. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're going to break down these historic launches, examine what really happened in both missions, and explore how industry leaders Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos responded to these pivotal moments. We'll analyze the technical achievements, setbacks, and what these parallel missions mean for the future of space exploration. Don't forget to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours and help us reach 150,000 subscribers. Let's dive right in. The early days of rocket development were marked by spectacular failures that paved the way for extraordinary achievements. In the 1960s, NASA's journey to master spaceflight was fraught with challenges. Nearly half of the Atlas boosters, the very rockets meant to carry Mercury astronauts into the cosmos, failed their test flights before being deemed safe for human spaceflight. The Titan missiles violently shook during their initial unmanned launches, threatening to tear themselves apart. Even the mighty Saturn V, which would eventually carry humanity to the moon, faced such severe problems during its final unmanned test that Chris Kraft, NASA's Director of Flight Operations, declared it a disaster in 1968. Yet from these setbacks emerged the greatest achievements in human spaceflight. This historical context brings us to January 16, 2025, when two modern aerospace giants followed in those pioneering footsteps, each writing their own chapter in the ongoing story of space exploration. Blue Origin's New Glenn lifted off from Cape Canaveral in the early morning hours, its seven BE-4 engines igniting in a brilliant display of power. The launch pad disappeared in a cloud of exhaust as the massive rocket began its journey skyward. For Jeff Bezos, who founded Blue Origin in 2000, this moment represented the culmination of over two decades of work. The tension in the control room was palpable as New Glenn cleared the tower, its methane-fueled engines producing 3.8 million pounds of thrust, enough power to simultaneously propel two Nimitz-class aircraft carriers at full speed. The initial phase of the flight went exactly as planned. New Glenn's trajectory was perfect as it arced over the Atlantic Ocean, its engines performing flawlessly as they pushed the payload toward orbit. But space exploration has always been an unforgiving endeavor. During the critical booster recovery attempt, something went wrong. The massive first stage, designed for up to 25 ruses, failed to make its planned gentle landing on the recovery vessel. Instead, it plunged into the Atlantic Ocean, a setback that visibly affected Bezos, who stood watching with crossed arms, his usual smile notably absent. Yet even this partial success represented a significant milestone. After 25 years of development, Blue Origin had finally joined the elite club of companies capable of reaching orbit. The successful payload deployment proved that New Glenn's upper stage worked as intended, validating countless hours of engineering work and testing. Just hours later, SpaceX's Starship took to the skies from its launch site in Boca Chica, Texas. This behemoth, standing nearly 400 feet tall, represents the most ambitious rocket program in history. The flight began with a successful liftoff, the massive booster's 33 Raptor engines creating a spectacular display of power that could be felt miles away. In a dramatic reversal of the day's earlier launch, Starship's booster successfully returned to its launch site, caught by the massive chopstick arms of the launch tower, a feat that had never been achieved before with a booster of this size. However, space showed once again that it never gives up its secrets easily. Eight minutes and 27 seconds into the flight, at an altitude of several hundred kilometers, Starship's upper stage experienced what SpaceX euphemistically termed a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. The loss of the upper stage highlighted the immense challenges of developing a fully reusable super heavy lift vehicle. The contrast between these two launches reveals much about the different approaches these companies take to space exploration. Blue Origin, following its motto of Gratitim Ferocitor, 
step-by-step, -step, ferociously, spent over a decade developing New Glenn. The company's methodical approach prioritized careful testing and validation at each stage. SpaceX, on the other hand, embraces a test, fly, fail, fix philosophy that has enabled them to achieve an unprecedented pace of development, 